Good morning. Um, welcome to the eighth annual Aging Research and Drug Discovery Conference. I'm really uh, excited that we're actually meeting in person. Uh, and I know that we have uh, Alex online also. Hey, Alex, how are you doing? It's great to see you, Alex. And uh, I know that it's been uh, impossible for you to join the meeting, unfortunately, because of all the restrictions that you're still facing. But it's great that, to have you online, and I know that you would like to uh, say a few words uh, before we start. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Morton, and thank you, everybody. Um, very happy to be with you uh, virtually this year. Uh, it is with deep regret uh, that I need to inform you that I wasn't able to travel due to the new restrictions uh, due to the Delta variant in Hong Kong. As long as you know, we have the zero COVID policy, so I would not be able to come back. Uh, I would like to share a couple of slides uh, before I start. So I need to ensure that the host enables me as uh, uh, for screen sharing as well. Um, and before, uh, before that happens, um, I just wanted to uh, thank all of you for coming uh, also in person. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a great honor for us to be organizing this conference for eighth year in a row. Uh, so, dear technicians, please make sure that I can screen share. You can screen share now, Alex. That was my fault. I apologize. Okay, perfect. No problem. No need to apologize ever because uh, uh, you worked for the entire year to make this happen. <laughs> so, uh, and um, uh, I must say that uh, this conference is the effort of a large group. However, uh, Morton put in the most effort and uh, for the eighth year in a row, uh, we convene for um, every, every week uh, as, a, as a group to put this conference together. So it's a lot of effort that goes in it. In it. And uh, uh, this year is the largest conference on aging in biopharma. So welcome. Uh, I would also like to say uh, thank you to the sponsors of the 8th ARDD and, uh, you know, deep bow to all the sponsors. I think that's one of the most uh, uh, sponsored conference uh, in uh, aging research right now. Uh, it's organized by the University of Copenhagen, so we have a transparency statement. Uh, all the funds go through the uh, University of Copenhagen. Um, very happy to see so many startups and venture funds and pharma companies participating. So if you want to do this next year and highlight your company uh, next year, please do uh, talk to Morton and the team to um, uh, ensure that you reserve the sponsorship slot. Uh, we are also extremely pleased to have major journals, Frontiers, Eli, sponsoring and Lancet, uh, Nature Aging, Aging, supporting. Very th thankful to Longevity Technology for covering it. Um, and also just a little bit of history. The conference started in 2014 uh, as the Aging Forum in Basel. So here you see some of the familiar faces. So you're Kreinhardt, the chairman of, chairman of Novartis. Here you have John Manick on the picture uh, who presented at that time Restore Bio. So the conference kind of outlived Restore Bio. Um, you, you see kind of the uh, cradle to cradle um, history of companies uh, and uh, many success stories, many failures, uh, our industry is emerging. And uh, at that conference, uh, Jörg Reinhardt presented this wonderful slide showing that aging is a source of many diseases and we need to study it as a biological process, as a core biological process to be able to address those diseases, um, to understand the mechanisms and to address them early. So. Since then, since 2014, back then we had 70 participants. And uh, in 2020, so last year, we managed to, over, to exceed 2,000. Uh, and also just last year, four out of the top 20 pharmaceutical companies have prioritized cellular senescence in early stage R&D, and also senofibrosis, fibrosenescence. So those processes, uh, uh, chronic processes, DNA damage, DNA repair, are extremely popular in pharma and is becoming a trend. And currently, that's the largest venue for uh, bringing together academics and industry researchers. Also, the mission of the uh, conference has not changed at the very inception. So we're bridging uh, basic science and clinical research, uniting leaders and aiding research, research and drug discovery. Many pharma companies are watching. Um, support uh, next generation researchers. Actually, for the first time, we have the Inspire Longevity Program, where we engage teenagers uh, who are currently in high school. Uh, to plan their career paths in aging research and get into this industry. So please look at the website and check out this program. Uh, and of course, we want to invest, to, to connect uh, investors, industry, and academia. 
And just a few stats from last year, so I won't take much time, but it's extremely important to highlight that. So we had more than 2.2 thousand delegates. It's a huge, uh, of, uh, um, a huge presence uh, online. Uh, you, you, you can see all those uh, uh, presentations on YouTube, and it's great for sponsors as well. Uh, all the top pharmaceutical companies, VCs, and clinical research sponsors are represented. Um, it's uh, about a quarter of the participants of the delegates who did the analysis are from, a, from the pharmaceutical industry. So even though many of them are not speaking, they are participating and learning. And uh, quite substantial university participation, NGOs, government. Uh, we're extremely proud to be a very diverse conference, uh, about 50-50 uh, male and female participation. Uh, and in some, uh, in some um, uh, conference uh, section, uh, we have uh, uh, more females than males, extremely diverse. 120 countries are represented, five industry sectors. Uh, here you can see that the U.S. is dominating in the online presence. Uh, however, it's a very nice uh, uh, distribution, also a very nice distribution of the academic institutions, uh, organizations. So you can see that the top uh, uh, organizations are all represented. Uh, we also publish the proceedings in industry journals. Uh, and usually, well, later it's going to be very difficult to, to explain the conflict of interest uh, to uh, the editors of the journal because you published with everybody, but you really want to uh, be in this conference uh, to be able to publish your abstracts. Um, it goes back, so you'll have, please take a lot of pictures, please post them online. Uh, we really want to ensure that this, uh, the birth of this industry and the evol evolution of this industry is well documented and you are the pioneers. Uh, and I extremely, uh, I'm extremely thankful to my co-chairs and specifically Morton and Daniela, who managed to take this conference uh, over and take it to the next level. So you cannot imagine how much effort goes in the background to make this conference successful. And you know, Copenhagen is the new Basel. Uh, that says everything, and it's all, all it's all on site. It's it's really amazing um, site. So great city. I uh, would love to be there in person been there in person many times and would love to see next year, maybe Nova Nordisk can sponsor as well. Uh, kind of bad that they didn't. Thanks, um, Alex. And uh, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, again, thank you to sponsors. Thanks, Alex. Really thank you, fantastic.